Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the realm of a medication known as Votriant, with its generic name being Pazipanib. As always, this discussion is intended for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, it's essential to consult a medical professional. Description Votriant, or Pazipanib, belongs to the drug class of vegf vegfr inhibitors. It is a cancer medication designed to interfere with the growth and spread of cancer cells within the body. Votriant is primarily used to treat advanced renal cell carcinoma, which is a form of kidney cancer. Additionally, it's prescribed for soft tissue sarcoma, a type of tumor that can develop in or around muscles, tendons, joints, organs, or blood vessels. This medication is typically administered after other cancer treatments have been tried without successful treatment of soft tissue sarcoma. Warnings it's crucial to be aware that Votrian should not be used if you have severe liver disease, as it can lead to severe or life-threatening liver complications. Regular blood tests are necessary to monitor liver function. Symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, upper stomach pain, loss of appetite, fatigue, easy bruising, dark urine, or jaundice, yellowing of the skin or eyes, should be reported to your doctor immediately. Additionally, Votrian can reduce blood cells that aid in fighting infections and clotting. This can increase the risk of infections or bleeding. If you notice unusual bruising, bleeding, or signs of infection like fever, chills, or body aches, contact your healthcare provider. Before taking this medicine. Before starting Votriant, inform your doctor if you have had liver disease, heart disease, heart rhythm disorder, or long cutie syndrome, high blood pressure, a blood clot or stroke, a thyroid disorder, Headaches, seizures, or vision problems. A perforation in your stomach or intestines. A fistula within your stomach or intestines. Stomach or intestinal bleeding. Surgery within the past seven days. It's essential to ensure you're not pregnant before starting this treatment, as Votrian can harm an unborn baby. Effective birth control should be used during treatment and for at least two weeks after the last dose. Men with pregnant partners or partners who could become pregnant should use condoms during treatment and for at least two weeks after the final dose. Breastfeeding is not recommended while using Votriant and for at least two weeks after the last dose. Dosage Votriant should be taken exactly as prescribed by your doctor. It's recommended to take it on an empty stomach, either one hour before or two hours after a meal. The tablet should be swallowed whole without crushing, chewing, or breaking it. For adults with renal cell carcinoma or soft tissue sarcoma, the usual dose is 800 mg orally once a day. It's important to avoid grapefruit or grapefruit juice while on this medication, as it can increase the plasma concentration of the drug. Side Effects Like all medications, Votrian can cause side effects. Some of these include Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain Loss of appetite, weight loss Breathing difficulties. Tumor pain, bone pain, muscle pain. Headaches, fatigue. Changes in hair or skin color. Changes in taste. More severe side effects can include high blood pressure, infections, liver problems, and signs of tumor cell breakdown. Always consult your doctor about any side effects and report any new or unusual symptoms. Interactions. Votriant can interact with other medications. It's crucial to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking. Specifically, avoid grapefruit products and certain antacids and stomach acid reducers while on Votriant. FAQ Votriant is not a cure for cancer, but it can increase progression-free survival and can shrink or slow the growth of kidney cancer in some individuals. It's not an immunotherapy medicine but is considered a targeted drug therapy used to treat cancer. Votriant helps slow down the growth of blood vessels that feed tumor growth. Closing That concludes our overview of Votriant. Remember, this information is meant to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.